The Great Barrier Reef has been given a terminal prognosis unless the rate of global warming is slowed. The warning comes as the marine park suffers through another mass bleaching event, the second in as many years. Christina Castales reports. One of the world's greatest natural treasures is losing its fight for life. This latest video of the Great Barrier Reef filmed off the coast of Cairns shows the extent of the mass bleaching event unfolding right now. Coral drained of its colour, large sections dead and covered in algae. No scientist ever thought we would have back-to-back -back mass coral bleaching events. It's the fourth of its kind in two decades. 2016's bleaching event was the worst on record, killing 22% of all coral, with the far north worst affected. This year, the devastation could be worse, according to the Marine Park Authority, which conducted an aerial survey yesterday. Severe bleaching that you can see from the air that is at least 30 to 100% of the corals that are visible from the air. To put it into perspective, the the Great Barrier Reef is 2,300 kilometres long. Experts say after this bleaching event, more than two-thirds of the ecosystem will show signs of devastation. The temperature over coming weeks will have a big part to play. A warm forecast will mean no break for survival. This is climate change in your face. And this is happening in the part of the reef that is the heart of the tourism industry. 60,000 jobs depend on the reef for tourism. The Queensland government says it's focusing on regulations around water quality and runoff. We are determined that we are going to take action when it comes to protecting and preserving the Great Barrier Reef. But is it too little, too late? Thousands of years of growth and colour could be dead in a matter of weeks. We are now entering uncharted territory. Christina Castellas, 10 Eyewitness News.